What's up Clarity Fitness community? I am Abby Griffith, the owner and founder of Clarity Fitness and Gizmo and I are here to talk to you today a little bit about how to make workouts a little less sucky. So right now we are all in Corona time. This is not news, this is the elephant in the room. And no, this video is not all about coronavirus because I am tired of hearing about it too. But this workout is to address those of you that I've heard really getting down on themselves about not having worked out or not being as active as they used to be or just really having a hard time making any kind of workout fun in this setting. I, as a fitness professional, do this for a living, and I don't want to work out on my carpet either. I would rather go to the gym. I would rather be in a class filled with people that I can vibe with and bounce energy off of, but we're making it work, and I truly think that this is a time that we can find new things that we like just as much so we can add more fun workouts to our toolbox and our availability of what we might be able to do on any given day. And that is what I'm here to talk about. So some things that I have heard that have been absolutely brilliant ideas are, first of all, figuring out who a really awesome workout buddy would be or building a relationship with someone like an elementary school best friend that it's everything is still the same when you go hang out with them or talk to them. There's still that connection there, but maybe they live in a different state. Maybe they're overseas. And this could be your opportunity to do personal training or do group exercise with someone that you haven't seen in forever. They could become a part of your week. They could become a part of your wellness routine. And that could be a really great way to build that relationship and make it something you're looking forward to. My second life hack is hooking up your sound to some kind of Bluetooth speaker or your TV. If you can make it louder and make this sound sound more enhanced than watching it off your phone or even your computer, it can actually be more fun. You kind of feel like you're more so in the class than when it's just off of the smaller speakers. My next life hack is all about the music. So everyone knows that workout playlists can completely make or break your workout and I am a firm believer in that too. And my tip to you is to kind of tune into your inner group exercise instructor. Play with a playlist that you forgot about or go through your music and find all of your favorite songs from the last 20 years and stick those together to make it a super fun throwback playlist. Or find a way to find a Spotify or an Apple Music playlist that really, really speaks to you and blast it. Play it over top of the workouts that you're doing. A lot of times we can't use music to stream our classes anyway, so that's a great option for you to be your own DJ and hype yourself up around that playlist. Another life hack is finding a workout that actually sounds fun. A lot of times we are so stuck in these shoulds and these shouldn'ts and all of these weird things about what we feel like we're supposed to be doing. When it comes to movement, it's movement. That's all we need to think about. Moving your body is great for your mood, your energy, your health, we know all of this, but what we forget is that it doesn't have to look a certain way. It does not need to be a certain level of intensity or a certain time. Go through YouTube workout videos or go through the internet or go through Instagram and find something that's like, ooh, I kinda wanna try that. Workouts don't need to be miserable, and if you aren't having some kind of positive reaction or some kind of, ooh, I wanna try that, or ooh, I'm really looking forward to that reaction to the workout that you're choosing, it's not the one you need to be doing today. Another idea is potentially taking the class outside. Some days it might be rainy and gross, like it is right now, but some days it might be possible for you to do a workout in somewhere you hadn't thought of before. Maybe it's your porch or your patio, maybe it's in the middle of a garage, maybe it is outside, or maybe it's in a park, and you can really watch that class and have fun in the sunshine, and have fun in a group class or a personal training session that you love in a place that you also really appreciate too. My last tidbit for you is to just give yourself permission to rest. Being in quarantine is not your fault. Being restful, oops, I kicked my camera. Being restful even after we're out of this time is not your fault. You are allowed to listen to your body and if there's a day that you're like, workouts aren't gonna happen, that's fine. 
I am not here to tell you how many times you should be working out because honestly, that changes. It's different person to person. It's different based on how the week is going in terms of just general movement and activity. It's different in terms of how you're feeling. It's different with illness and injury. There are so many variables that change that answer. There is no right number of workouts that is set always. So please, please, please give yourself some slack. There is no reason to be down on yourself if you're not moving. There's no reason to beat yourself up if a workout really, really doesn't sound good today. Save it for a time that there is some kind of level of excitement. It is so incredibly important to have a happy and healthy relationship with movement, with your body, with exercise in general. And if it starts to become something that is honestly the worst part of your day, it is not working. So please, please, please tune into that instead of trying to fight or push through it. Workouts can be a pleasant experience. Movement can look like everything from vacuuming your floor to taking a walk to lifting to going on a jog to stretching to yoga to dance to whatever. There are so many different ways to play with movement and there's so many ways to make it fun. So please, please, please reach out to us over at Clarity Fitness if you have any questions or if you need any more ideas about happy, healthy workout balance. We are here to help you. Have a great day.